And now, Support Local Culture, brought to you by Nusa Yogurt. Support Local Culture celebrates the people in our community who make it rich with culture. My sister was always the artist in the family. She was older than me by seven years. Very, very talented. And everybody I else felt like everybody else could do something better than me. You know? And so when I'd see their drawings or see my sister's drawings, so I I, like mine were icky. So I always, I just grew up thinking, I, I don't have any talent. I don't have it. This isn't me. I wrote. Hi, my name is Kate Dardine, and I am, well, I guess I would say I'm an abstract artist, although a lot of my art has very realistic components to it. Um, it's very intuitive and sometimes very colorful. I live in Wellington, and that's where my studio is. My process talks a lot about how, where my head is while I'm creating, and it's all very intuitive. I don't necessarily start with, a, with an idea of what image is going to be. I start with color, put some paint on my palette, just whatever appeals to me, and then I just start with a very abstracted painting, just uh, swirls and splatters, and really it looks like nothing when I start other than just chaos, really. And from that chaos, I then start seeing things, and those things are things that are kind of boiling up from my subconscious and so in some ways, my, my work is very, very personal. Um, if somebody knew me well, they could probably read the story of my life through, through my paintings. Back in 2005, my family experienced a, a horrible tragedy um, with my son-in-law committed suicide. Before that, when I painted, I was painting much more realistically than I do now. I wanted a tree to look like a tree, I, like a tree that you would see. I wanted the landscape to reflect the landscape as I saw it. When my son-in-law committed suicide, it took me by such surprise, and I couldn't paint, I couldn't do anything for, for probably a month or so. I was just devastated. The thing that I kept thinking about was, how could I have not seen that? Here I am thinking, I see what there is, and I didn't see that. When I would try and paint, a scene after that, I, I don't know, it just like flipped something in my head that said, you're not seeing what's really there. You're seeing what everyone else sees, you're seeing what, you're, what you think you're supposed to see. And so as I was working through my grief, I decided I was going to paint in a very childlike way and just throw paint on the canvas and see what came out. And that's how, what I've done now for the last 10 years that's where that came from, is, is a complete shift in, instead of trying so hard to make everything look like it was supposed to, it didn't have to be, you know, and in fact, it shouldn't be to me. It should be what my perceptions were and my, my emotions were, and um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of how, what made that big, big shift, and as I've moved along as an artist and grown as an artist, I keep building on that. You know, somebody once said to me that, oh, your work changes all the time. And, and I said, no, it doesn't really change. It evolves, but it doesn't really change. You can almost, if you look at work that I did 20 years ago and you look at work, work I'm doing now, there's a definite path that you can see. A lot of it has to do with letting go of, like I said before, the, the uh, preconceived notions and uh, stop worrying about if what I'm doing is what somebody else is going to like or it, it just has to come from me. 
You've been listening to Support Local Culture, sponsored jointly by KRFC and Nusa Yogurt. More information about this series and how to apply for an opportunity to be featured on KRFC can be found at krfcfm.org.